Hi guys, so I want to thank everybody for watching my last video. I really didn't think people would watch it, but they did. So, shout out to y'all. Shout out to the new subscribers. Um, I'm going to apologize for this glare in my glasses from my computer screen. And also, um, I'm going to be looking down at my phone a couple times um, to make sure that I am answering the questions that people have inboxed me. Um, some YouTube stuff. Um, some blog, some stuff from my blog at DearMrElevatorMan.com and some things that I've received on Facebook. So, I've been asked where did I first hear the story and I first heard the story on Twitter. This was Saturday about 7 o'clock, a couple hours after um, he was shot. No news outlets had had this information. It wasn't even on Facebook yet. It was just on Twitter and I started following some people in the area that were actually live tweeting about this. So that's why I first heard the story. Um, also, my boyfriend's sister, Anissa, um, we both heard it at the same time. We both started doing our research and digging to make sure that the story was valid and to get the eyewitnesses um, take on it. I do want to say that before the, before the news outlets started reporting that there was a struggle with the gun, we had not heard of this. Now we're following several different people on um, seven di several different people on Twitter that are in the area, and I think one of the ladies that I'm following is actually um, a reporter, and I had not heard anything about struggling with the gun. So I want to tell you not to believe that. Um, I'm not even sure where that story came from. I guess the police chief when they interviewed him, um, I'm, I think he's the one that stated that. So again, the eyewitnesses that were actually out there on the scene, the girl that saw him get shot, the guy that saw him get shot, I'm following them on Twitter and they stated that they did not, there was no struggle with the gun. Uh, people are asking me um, about the news outlets being told to leave. I have seen that on several um, other places besides the people in St. Louis tweeting about that. I've also saw that online that yes, they have asked the news outlets to leave. Someone told me that they cut the cable from um, in that area. I'm not quite 100% sure about that. I haven't seen that from any, um, I've seen that from a couple people, but not too many. I'm, excuse me, not sure if they're just retweeting it or if they're for sure. So don't quote me on that, although you never know. Um, they were doing a peaceful protest. Okay, so people ask me about what I think about the looting and, ri and rioting. I'm not here for the looting because people are stealing hair weave and liquor and cigarettes. And from what I'm reading, the people that are looting are not from the area. So they are not the original people that are that were protesting. Now, as far as, as the riots go, um, I did hear and I did read that the reason that they started rioting is because the police officers called them animals and told them they were acting like ignorant monkeys. And that's why they started to riot. Um, I don't really want to go into my feelings about that on this video. I may make another video about that. Um, so hold off on that I'm just kind of sharing information that I have they are shooting rubber bullets into the crowd I'm not sure if it's the peaceful protest because they are having peaceful protests I'm not sure if it's that or if they're shooting at the looters I don't know who they're shooting at well I know who they're shooting at but I'm not sure exactly where um, they're shooting but I am being told that they are shooting rubber bullets into the crowd they are also pointing guns in people's faces, trying to get their cell phones if they are recording. And if anyone from St. Louis is watching this or if anyone's going to St. Louis, do know that you do not have to give up your cell phone without a warrant. So it may be a little scary that someone's pointing a gun in your face. You can record them doing that and going by your merry little way. They are also pointing guns at people who are standing in their own front yards and telling them to go into the house, which is crazy. Um... I think that's about all the questions that I do have um, about that situation. And people ask me what's going on with the John Crawford case. I don't see a lot of people tweeting about that, but John Crawford is the young man that was gunned down inside of Walmart. Yes, I did say inside of Walmart. He had a toy. Uh, BB gun or a BB gun and someone called the police because they thought he was going to get violent. He seemed like he was going to get violent. Uh, he was on the phone with his mother and the police came and they told him to drop the gun and he told them that it wasn't real and they proceeded to shoot him. 
Um, right now, as far as I know in that story, his parents and their attorney is trying to obtain surveillance from Walmart, um, I guess, to proceed with pressing charges. Um, I'm not too up on that story. I do apologize for the people that are asking me about that. I will try to get more information on that. Now, I'm not really, I'm not really sure where I stand um, as far as giving information to you guys. But if you have a question, I'll try to research as much as I can and um, come back and make a video about it. I will be updating this on my blog at DearMrElevatorMan.com. Um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Also, follow my boyfriend sister on Twitter and Instagram. I'll put our links below and we're pretty much retweeting everything we see that's actually coming from the horse's mouth. Um, and yes, Anonymous has, they did hack into um, the city's computer and shut down their site and also shut down their emails. And you can find all that on my timeline and on her timeline and things like that. So if you are in St. Louis and you see this video, just know that you're in my prayers and drop your Twitter below or somewhere I can see it so that I can follow you and um, I can get the word out about what's really going on. Do you know that this is turning into a movement, not just a moment? So I hope everyone is keeping up to date. And I'm about to post some comments that I found online under threads so that you, so that it's you African Americans that don't fully believe what's going on is actually going on. And you can see the other side of it. Um, a lot of people are like, why are we blowing this out of proportion? It's not about race, blah, blah, blah. But um, the race does play a part in a lot of things. And it's playing a part in this. And I will show you what the other race is saying about our race. So I think I've answered everything. If I missed anything, I may make another video later on this week. If you have any questions, drop them below. You can send me an email. I put my email address below. Or drop a comment in the YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. Until next time, peace.